what's up? The Bodybuilding Show on location at the Phoenix Europa with 212 competitor, IFBB Pro, Breon Ansley in the house, bro. Dude, you look phenomenal on stage. Um, I know you weren't in the first call out, but who cares? I mean, <laughs> I care. Dude, you brought it and you owned it. Tell me about the show. What did you think? Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I, you know, I, I thought it was great. I thought it was. I thought it was a good call out. Um, I thought I, I could have done it better. I wanted to be a little crisper. Wanted to be a little harder. Uh, there's some, there's there's some, there's some good competitors up there. You know. You know? But symmetry wise, I'll tell you. I was sitting next to Sean. Sean, what did I say about this guy? He's got great symmetry. Yeah. And that's what I bring to the table. Great that's symmetry and just your front relaxed. When you look at the lineup up there and the front relaxed. My eyes just went to you thank automatically. You. Not you. just saying that because you're doing my show. No, thank but you. I do it. Hell of a physique. Where'd you turn pro? Uh, Vegas. Uh, last year. USA's, USA's baby. baby. Yeah. So were you a middle, a uh, light heavyweight? Middle. I went down to middleweight. Wow. Yeah, 176. Now, holy crap. Yeah. So, so I've how put far on did you? Size. You sure have. Now what'd you weigh in today? Like 200? Uh, yesterday, 199. 199. How'd I know? It was close. It's a pound <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. You're good. Pound for pound, go. dude. <laughs> you look freaking Sick up there. Thank you. So as an IFBB pro, you have a greater responsibility. You know, you're representing the IFBB. A lot of people want to be Mr. Olympia. A lot of people want to win the most shows ever. What is your goal as an IFBB pro? Just exactly that. Uh, to eventually step on that Olympia stage and be the best. Be the best. We do this. You know, I don't just, I have fun doing it. I do it for the sport. I love it. I enjoy it. But I most definitely want to be the best. That's great. You know, and I most definitely want to be the champion. So, and that's Olympia why you stage. are an IFBB pro. Absolutely. I mean, if you didn't want to be the best, you wouldn't be here right now. Right, exactly right. And what a journey. I mean, how long have you been working out for? Well, I've been working out since since a kid, since I was playing, uh, you know, sports, football, running track. So, were you a running back? Eight, nine years old, yeah. starting. Wow. Yeah. And who is the bodybuilder that you looked at and was like, I want to look like that someday? Sean Ray, Flex Wheeler. Wow. Hey, and you know what? You're See, getting there. Beautiful physique, right? <laughs> right. right. Beautiful I mean, physique. Right. Now, talk about your posing a little bit because I see Fred Smalls up there. Fred, I love what you do. Cool routine. Um, I'm more of a fan of the classic type bodybuilding uh, posing. What kind of posing do you do? Well, I do. I like. Um, it's funny now. I was talking about Sean Ray. Well, I, I like that type of smooth, fluid, float uh, motion. Uh, r and style, smooth, you know, uh, posing, and you'll see a little bit of that tomorrow. Oh, good. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah my yeah. favorite uh, Sean Ray routine, it was the Olympia when he had that, uh, the song by Mariah Carey. Ah, I've seen it many times. Right? Many times. Yeah, Love it, yeah. too. Love me it, too. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, what, how did you get into this? I mean, obviously, you were, you were an athlete. You were, did you see a poster? Did you see, was there a pro that approached you and said, man, you got a physique, you should compete? What was it? Because everybody's got a, you know, someone, it's usually not the person, it's usually somebody else that comes to you and says, hey man, yeah. you got a physique, you should do something with it. Is that what happened? Well, you know, I've always had it in the back of my mind ever since I was uh, playing sports. I would open the magazines and I would really admire the physiques and the way those bodies look, you know, and the muscles. And then I just started uh, training at, uh, at uh, 24 Hour Fitness in North Hollywood. Then people started, that's a, that's a gym where a lot of competitors go. Yeah. Then that's when people start approaching me and say, hey, you should try this, you should try that, you should try to compete, and do you compete, blah, blah, blah. And so they just, you know, enough enough questions about it and enough people asking, I just finally decided to get on stage. Well, you finally decided, and here's what I say, I mean, I've been bodybuilding a long time. You can't call yourself a bodybuilder until you put the posing trunks on and you're on stage in front of a thousand, whatever, two thousand people, right? I was just telling my friend that we all can look good and, you know, cut off tees. But uh, when you strip it all down, you know, now let's see what you look like. And it's the best butt contest, let's face it. <laughs> I mean, whether you're a man in women's physique, you're in men's, not men's physique. Women's bikini. Right. Women's bikini. Yeah, or it's all men's weird. bodybuilding. I mean, you turn around, if your glutes aren't there, let me tell you people, the glutes were there on the champ. You're we train glutes For too. Sure. We For train sure. that ass too. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> what is the hardest part about being a competitive bodybuilder for you? Is it the nutrition, dieting, is it training? Is it, you know, balancing life and everything else? What's the hardest thing for you? I'd probably say the, 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 the nutrition. I'd probably say keeping up with the meals, uh, the timing of the meals and getting it in, the, the, uh, the number, the, the, the calorie intake, and the, the number of grams. That's the toughest part for me. I mean, going, going to the gym and working out, do that all day. I'm glad you said that because my, my thing is this. It's hard to eat when you're hungry. 
Right. It's hard to eat when you're not. Yeah, it's hard to eat when you're not hungry. Yeah. It's easy to eat a cheeseburger when you're hungry. Of course. But eating your tilapia and chicken and asparagus when you're not hungry and choking that food down. Force feeding. Yep. Force feeding, and you have to do it yeah. because you're not going to look like this if you don't. You're not going to lean out if you don't. Yeah. So it's a big science project. Yeah. I mean, it was, I was just I was staying with my friend last night. And during the carb up process, I was telling him that, man, I'm dying here. Want some water? Yeah, I had to put on, uh, I had to take in about 800, 900 grams of carbs with no water. Holy oh, crap. So 800, tough. if you didn't hear that, the guy the guy carved up with eight to 900 grams of carbs. Now, was that all Was that all clean, complex carbs, or did you have some crap food in there no, too? No, no crap food. It was all red potatoes, sweet potato, rice cakes. All those carbs. Dude, I'm full just thinking about 800, 800 to 900 yeah. grams of carbs. I'm sick of it. I, my, my gut feels like it's out of here. I didn't even eat that. How did you keep that shit so tight? Gen genetics. <laughs> my God. I mean, when you're in your front relaxed, a lot of people get in the oh, front relaxed. And, and you know, let me tell you. Jeff. G word. A lot of people, they get in the front relaxed. If they flex their abs, they lose their physique. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're up there, front relaxed, abs are tight. And your physique didn't go anywhere. It was right it. there, man. Yeah. Great job. Well, I had to. I had to learn it because you know I would get up there in front, relax, and, and kind of hunker down and kind of flex them. Uh -huh. But you gotta just you have to always you know have an, an eye on what looks good uh, when you're flexing and what you know what you bring to the table, right. what pops for you. Who's, uh, do you have any sponsors you want to throw a shout out to? Yeah, Nutra Shop, Woodland Hills. Nice. Uh, back to the back to the back at the crib. PPT52 represent yeah. oh. one time uh, zero gravity fitness uh, stay blessed you know with the wings flying and uh, everybody out there man I appreciate it love y'all and we gonna continue to grind right on no no yeah we're, no, yeah let's, let's run. All those. we're Sit doing down. a show it is a, the V bodybuilding show and Renan's gonna put on a show for us let's see what's up man. I hope, it's, I hope it's still there. Something's oh, still it's there. there dude. It's you know? there. I did that for Come on, Vince. Let me see your post now. All right. <laughs> now I'll, get, I'll get smoked. <laughs> that looks awesome. Way to go. Keep your shirt on and get your head knocked off. That's right. <laughs> Great physique. Great physique. Hell of a job now. Do you have... Um, do you have a training? What do you do outside of bodybuilding? Are you just a full-time bodybuilder? Do you have a training business? Do you have a full-time job? What do you do? Train and I uh, work with kids. You work with kids? Yeah, I work with at-risk youth. Oh, great. Yeah. Way, to, way, to, way to go. Yeah. Now, if somebody wants to train with you, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, you can get a hold of me at Breon M.A. That's on Instagram. Uh, Breon M. Ansley at gmail.com. That's email. And... I'm not going to give my number out to y'all quite yet. <laughs> right Maybe on. to the ladies out there. Yeah. Right, right Shout on. out to Merlo and Mo. Yeah, and Merlo and Mo. Back at the crib, the, the divas. That's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> they holding it down. Right. <laughs> IFBB Pro, Brian Ainsley came by the Metro Flex booth to interview on the V Bodybuilding Show. I can't thank you enough. Hello, thank you, physique. Man. You got a bright future. I really appreciate it. All right, man. So, are we going to get a training session in before you get out of town? For sure. Get over to the Metro. Whenever. Whenever. All right, man. I gotta, I'll, hit, I'll definitely hit that. Sweet. I want to throw a shout out to Pro Subs. I want to thank them. Six Pack Bags, Metro Flex Gym, uh, Soul Swag Watches, Pita Jungle, Ride Now, and, and my oatmeal. How could I forget Anthony Kolova, the man? Thank you, Anthony. All right, V Bodybuilding Show. Like it, favorite, share it. You know it. Thanks a lot. Peace. Boom. <laughs>